The control sucks. The challenge sucks. The gameplay sucks. And therefore, Spawn sucks. Super Smash Brothers is not a wrestling game. The Lost Vikings, Eric, Olaf, and Balon, are the hippest characters ever to hit the 16-bit front. They might even be the video game version of the Three Stooges. The ending is not even worth seeing, but you know how we are with spoiling endings, so here we go once more. It seems Square is truly square, in the head, blockheads. Okay, that's our weak attempt at a joke. The game has about as much depth as one of my gray hairs. And that announcer, ugh, somebody shoot that dweeb. He's one of those guys with slow motion syntax and overdrawn emotions, saying things like, way cool, man, totally rockin', man, whoa, I thought you were history, and are you trippin' out or what? Sometimes you wish the gold game were to hunt that wiener down and kill him. And you should not have to jump onto a vine to get it moving. Anyone who's ever climbed a rope knows you can wiggle your body and get it moving very quickly. The game's dorky preteen character is about as easy to steer as it is to keep the Titanic from sinking. Double Dragon 5 is subtitled The Shadow Falls. This will truly happen because the Shadow Boss has never been easier to defeat. Do you like cheese, folks? Well, that's what you'll get in Mario's Tennis. Cheese. By today's standards, final realism is what Doom is all about. Oh my gosh, this game is excellent. The famous Star Wars music is beautifully recreated, and the sound effects are great, like the Jawas funny hee hee noise. In other Star Wars news, you can expect next year's Shadow of the Empire for the Ultra 64 to be one of the best games ever made. Kirby is a little star whose weapon is his vacuum suck power. Mega Man, however, has a much more powerful weapon in Mega Man 6. The Instinct, on the other hand, has great endings, if you ever get to see them. This code won't... The computer screen will appear with the phrase, say no to cheats. Once that appears, press X and B simultaneously to activate the level skip. Pitfall has three cool hidden codes. The first one lets you play the original 4-bit Atari 2600 Pitfall game. Yuck! Bugsy offers jokes, voices, flying, and swimming. What more could you want? The ending is cheesy and not very rewarding. If we've said it once, we've said it a thousand times. We should say something worse, something that rhymes with tux. In fact, why should we stop now? This game sucks. What is the significance of this? Well, none really. In fact, what's the significance of the entire game? Well, none really. What's the significance of the entire fighting genre? Well, none really.